Today we're gonna mix 100 milliliters of sodium alginate to print out of the Lulzbot Bio, and then we're gonna load that into the syringe pump. We need 98 milliliters of deionized water, two grams of sodium alginate powder, and then 0.02 grams of Alcyon Blue dye. The dye is because the sodium alginate is clear, so we wanna be able to see the print when it's printing. So we've got our 98 milliliters of deionized water with a magnetic stirrer. Then we're gonna add our 0.02 grams of Alcyon Blue dye, and this stuff is gonna make it really blue really fast. And then we're gonna slowly add our two grams of sodium alginate powder. Because the sodium alginate wants to clump together, we're gonna have to slowly add it and mix it for a few hours so that it reaches a consistent viscosity. So now we're gonna load our five milliliter gas tight syringe. We've got a big air bubble in the top. So I'm gonna stop, flip it upside down, put my finger over the top, full vacuum and release. And now I should be able to push the air bubble out the top and then continue filling it. Now we're gonna add our syringe collar to our syringe. Uh, you'll see on the syringe collar, there's a skinnier section and a wider section. The skinny section goes towards the top of the syringe and you slide it into this slot and it'll click into place. Um, so now this is ready to be loaded on the machine. We just need to add a dispensing needle. So this is the lure lock. You just tighten it into place. So now I'm gonna power on the Lulzbot Bio. It'll run us through a startup routine. And the first thing it's gonna ask is that the bed and on top of the printer is clear. So I'll say yes. And now the carriage is gonna to move to the syringe unload or load position. Now if you had a syringe in here, you would remove it. After that, the machine's gonna level the X gantry and home the plunger to the top. And now the machine is gonna level the X gantry. And now it's gonna to move to the syringe load position. So we've got our syringe with the collar. We have our thumb screw and we can now load it into the syringe pump. So this collar presses right into this slot and then we can move the carriage down to where it touches the top of the syringe plunger. Now I can add my thumb screw and tighten it down. And then we're gonna extrude a bit from the syringe pump so that the needle's primed and ready to print.